one smile, but. <laughs> it is not great the technical stuff, and the more you go to one of these, you don't make the cut. Racers ready! Yeah. Mike, go! Done with the class kids like in class we all know all want to risk him really well tomorrow in his uh, next stage. Um, I'm pretty shattered at the moment. I felt good the whole way. I ran out of water with like 45 minutes to go. So I just getting a little dizzy at the end and just like just yeah, you know, just kind of seeing things and just knew I'd get some liquids in me, but once I hit the pavement I knew it was just to put my head down and get to the water as quick as I could. <laughs> Um, yeah, we've been racing the Cascade Classic all week, and then this is kind of the main focus. You were, you were racing the Cascade Classic as well? Yeah, we did it the last four days, and it was good. We were getting a good training week out of it. And so you're going to go do the, uh, the crit tonight? Yeah, we're supposed to do the crit tonight. I'm a little bummed out that Barry's out now. That was, that was a short race. It was, extra short. One-tenth of the race done. Traction was not my friend today. When I saw him go down, it's pretty motivated to try and win this one for him. Corey Wallace, yeah, he passed me. I was at uh, 100% and uh, my bike started to lock up. So after like five hours, 30 minutes, I was, I was, I was done. I was looking for up to the, uh, to the finish and uh, it was such a tough to just to rally the finish line. I, had, I mean, I had enough and uh, keep it interesting in the, uh, in the downhill there. I mean, all the, the little bumps and uh, like the BMX track for miles and miles and... Hey, were, you, were you feeling the altitude? Christian Tungi was saying he could feel the altitude here. Is that a factor at all? No, I don't I think it's that. Uh too bad. If you can use it as an excuse, great. But uh, yeah, yeah, altitude is terrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost 50 years old. I've been doing it a long time, so I'm really efficient, and I can manage my energy level well. I think I think I think that's a strength of mine. 
and I used to do events that were a lot longer than this. So I what I'm pretty what did good. You do that were longer than this? <laughs> I used to do a lot of adventure races. You know, some of them were like seven days nonstop. And so eating and drinking and monitoring your body. So this is like a crit, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. Good. Mm -hmm. Chubby, you're looking fresh. Was there, was there a detonation I mean, no, somewhere No, I there? just made a wrong turn at a very obvious marking. I remember like maybe five miles out of the way and they were like, I don't think, and I came to like an intersection and I was like, well, I don't see any signs. I must be, I must have missed something. So I rode back and sure enough, the sign was like right in front of me. I was like, oh, I can't really blame that on anybody else but myself. <laughs> The thrill of a fight and turned it into a creed. So call all yours. It was hard, it was harder than last year. I thought about bailing out of Essen, but kept going and made it. I mean, this is a different kind of hard because I, I really wanted to win. I've been second the last two years and I told Ripley I wanted to win t today. So he kind of holds me to this and stuff like that. So I kind of was, I was excited to win. I had a good race at nationals two weeks ago. So. <laughs> Once you slow down, you're screwed. <laughs> Like I was good till 40 miles, and then I just cratered. Why is that? I, I don't know. I was I was hungry all day. Um, What'd you have for breakfast, or what didn't you have for breakfast? Same same as I ever do. What's that? Cereal, which is shitty. Oops, that's alright. <laughs> um, yeah, what same kind of cereal, same. Like cocoa puffs or something. No, like some some supposed hippie, to be some hippie, hippie stuff. stuff. Yeah, nuts and berries. Um, yeah, quinoa. so you need quinoa in your I do need quinoa. Quinoa and kale. So call all your horses off. Sing out the names of the brave. Rise up from whence you came. And come back to me, little rifles out in the rain. Call all your horses off. Sing out the names of the brave. And rise up from whence you came. I'm gonna get your, I'm gonna get your photo here. The riding is unbelievable. It's like, hang on, hamstring, hamstring. The riding is unbelievable. It's like, you know, it's just all this flowy rolling single track. You can't take it off the gas. You gotta keep it on the gas all the time. Heading out of the gate here and in the back. Yeah. Say hi. I suppose if you were a Rafa guy, you'd be doing like you'd have like some Ronda Nuring bike or something, <laughs> yeah, like steel right. fenders and like a huge okay. leather handlebar bag. Metal road bikes, carbon fiber mountain bikes. That's my rule. That's the style. That's my style. Um, there was this trail that was really flowy and it had a lot of jumps, and that's my favorite part. Speed West touches bicycles. You've only been back on the bike since what, January? Yeah. And why? Why is that? Because I had cancer, and um, so all fall I was in in and out of the hospital, and I had the biggest tumor that they'd seen in Central Oregon, and. Um, 
I decided that if I could, I, in January I could only ride 10 miles and I was totally wasted. One guy told me, you know, kill it with health food and veggies and I was like, kill it with the toxic chemicals and then figure it out from there. And this is the figure it out from there part. This is the, this is the, this was the like, total, like if I can do this then I'm cancer free. I'm doing video. Oh jeez. <laughs> Your uh, camera's running by the way. What? Oh crap. <laughs>